So is the Nike Vaporfly 3 the best racing shoe out there at the moment? Well today we're going to be diving in and talking all about a speed test and taking you guys along for a long run test. And to answer that question, we need to do some more testing. So this video is going to be broken down into two sections. Number one, I'm going to be showcasing the speed test that I did earlier in the week for the shoe's first run. I recorded the whole workout. I'm excited to share that with you. That's coming up first. And once we've done that, I'm going to be taking you guys along a long run test with me, which is going to be an hour and a half. I'm going to be breaking it down into sections and we're going to be doing a progressive long run so that I can go through the gears in the shoe and test out how it feels at certain paces. We'll talk more about that uh, when we get to that stage. First of all, I want to showcase how the shoe did in the workout. So the goal of today's session is just going to put some speed in the legs. That's all I want to do. This base training is all about nice zone one, zone two, easy stuff. A bit of zone three sprinkled in there, just having a bit of fun. And I kind of want this to almost be extended strides. I know it's not, but I want it to be just kind of a little bit of speed, just a sprinkling uh, to get my legs firing because in a couple of weeks time or less than that now I'll be starting a 10k block so I don't want it to be too much of a shock to the system. Now I am going to crack on with my drills and strides. I do want to get straight into this. I'm not going to uh, waffle on anymore. I'm going to get that done and then once we're done I'm going to talk a little bit about the session a little bit more in depth about how I found the shoes. All right, first two done, 450s, feeling sharp. They feel good. Woo, three and four done. We're moving, we're moving. This is going better than expected. Six out of 10 done. And we are moving. I'm liking the shoes. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, eight done, two to go, flying. So there we go, nine and 10 done. Absolutely love that. Oh, bar one rep was in the fours, a couple in the 440s, I think. Um, yeah, felt fast, felt really happy with that. Shoes, major improvement from version two. So there are a couple of reasons why I wanted to share that with you. Number one, it just gives you a bit more context, doesn't it, as to why I said what I said during my first impressions uh, video. And number two, I just feel like when I watch reviews, I like to know the ins and outs of everything and why that person thought what they thought and you know how they 
gave it a good test and is that test a good test or do I feel for that shoe that it wasn't really a suitable test so the idea of this video really is to mash these two together and hopefully showcase to you guys and putting it through a good range of paces so on to the long run test now let me explain what this one's all about so the plan is 50 minutes uh, 55 minutes moderate 25 minutes marathon pace and then 10 minutes hard so that should equate to an hour and 30 if my maths is right just 90 minutes today um as we're moving into 10k training soon it makes sense to start bringing the long runs back down because they're not going to be uh that big during the training block first thoughts i mean dropping that video a lot of people were saying they loved it some were saying they weren't keen a lot of you were saying it kind of feels a bit like the alpha fly i can't disagree with that the four foot widening has kind of made it feel like it's got that a nice squishy landing like the alpha fly does at the front with the airpods but minus the airpods but it still has that vaporfly-esque uh thin midfoot which can be a bit wobbly uh, for a lot of people so it is a little bit of a mashup to be honest um but i'm loving it i can't deny i'm only 12 minutes in but i'm really enjoying this shoe And the last thing for me to say before we knuckle down and get on with this, because we're now 20 minutes in, is for me to have tested as many pace ranges as possible. So in the first test, it was all about that top end speed. And today I'm hoping to test some good steady pace, which I am now, some marathon pace, which will be next, and then hard, which will be somewhere in between whatever the intervals were uh, on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday session and uh, marathon pace today. So hopefully I'll be able to cover a full spectrum of paces and see how the shoe performs. So I'm gonna knuckle down now, get on with this because I'm enjoying myself and uh, I'll catch up with you when we kick in to marathon pace. Okay, a minute away from kicking into marathon mode. Uh, well, just over a minute. It's been a good, moderate 55 minutes. Really enjoyed it. Time to uh, get serious and try and be specific. Right, three minutes left of this marathon pace work and then we're kicking into the final 10 minutes. There's a wicked headwind on this industrial estate so I'm making sure the last 10 minutes are a tailwind.
there we go the last 10 minutes done 547 per mile had a nice tailwind and downhill to start but inevitably we hit the uphill and the headwind on the way back but uh yeah really really <coughs> excuse me really really happy with that so there we go some initial thoughts straight off the back of that able to go through the gears really well in that shoe really really happy um i think it was what 635 per mile for the steady six flat for the marathon pace and then 547 for that last 10 minutes felt really really good uh, throughout all of it the shoe was really really good definitely had that classic vapor fly wobble that you kind of feel when you're going down and uphill that midfoot is so thin you kind of uh, it kind of forces you onto your forefoot a little bit just to make you feel a bit more stable which i often find makes me run more efficiently anyway so um overall in terms of the run over 14 miles 14.24 miles average heart rate was 156 really really happy really warm day today so to clock those paces is really good so i think in terms of testing for now it's 100 percent better than version 2 this is a really good step forward i think for me it's definitely money well spent whether it's going to be as good as version 1 time will tell with the races but i'm certainly happy to uh, lace these things up and racing them over the coming months and i'm glad i'm really glad that it's improvement from version 2 because version 2 was just not fun uh for me the upper was just too saggy baggy ankle rolled around too much in it and although the lockdown in this thing isn't great i haven't felt that movement that i had in version two so for me big improvements here in this version and time will tell so stick around for more racing uh, there'll be some races coming up over the next couple of months where i'll be testing this thing and really putting it to its uh, full potential but so far so good throughout all the pace zones that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video please do consider giving it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for weekly running content i'll see you in the next one until then